is a booming technology and probably in next few years we'll be seeing it everywhere. And uh, in Drupal, it's really easy to work in it. But uh, there is a kind of a stigma that I find normally ki, achha, uh, we have to make an IVR system. It's going to be big thing. We have to code a lot. We have to plan a lot. We have to spend a lot to create IVR systems and everything. Basically, in Drupal, that's very easy. And uh, I had planned a demo here, but the problem is that server is down. I don't know why. Just checked that half an hour ago. And uh, so maybe we'll have it, or maybe I, we won't. But we'll just go through Vue IP, and maybe we can cut short just and uh, interact a bit about it. So <coughs> one thing is why Vue IP? Is it only for making IVR systems, or we can create something more useful out of it? So there are a few things that uh, are very common right now that we are using Vue IP for. One is, say, suppose, and especially for the business people, like if I want to make calls from my website, you can make a startup or a, a new concept where you can call from your website. There is one possibility. Uh, IVR system is the most common thing that we distinguish VIP for. And uh, maybe you want to run SMS-based poll, just like NDTV or Ajtak. Press A for who should be the uh, next Prime Minister of India. And uh, press A for Sonia Gandhi, B for Rahul Gandhi, C for none of the above. So this is, again, something that we can build with VOIP Drupal. And uh, you can make uh, SMS Blast, that kind of a website, just like uh, free SMS thing and everything. So right now, the VOIP structure, as it stands in Drupal, it's available for six, six, uh, six, Drupal 6 and Drupal 7, though for Drupal 7, there are a few modules that have not been upgraded to Drupal 7. And that's why I said we, I'll uh, announce it. Probably tomorrow we can have a hackathon to upgrade these modules. So there are two parts for creating a VOIP system through your Drupal site. One is your Drupal installation, either in 6x or 7x. And there is a VoIP server. So VoIP server, there are two, um, two things that you can do to configure your server. Either you can use a third-party service like Twilio, Plevo, or Tropo. Or you can set up your own server like Asterix. So Asterix is basically open source and free. So you can just configure it yourself. Or these third-party services are also doing good. And uh, uh, this chart has changed in the uh, last few months, but still it's almost the same, the structure. So the core module, when you download the VoIP module, you get these modules in the package. It's uh, for calling the script, the UIs, some samples, and uh, basic integration with Twilio, Tropo, and uh, Clevo services. You can just enable the modules and configure, and it will work for you. So there are some extensions that have been created, uh, like VoIP poll. I just mentioned creating a poll out of SMS and IVR, or uh, a call blast, maybe an audio blog. Now, audio blog is actually a very interesting module, and I don't know. Uh, there has not been a startup over it. You just call. You speak anything, and it will get recorded and posted on your blog. So all these kinds of things you can do through this module. And just with the configuration, you don't have to write much scripts here. So, and uh, there are a few methods for writing the scripts. If uh, we have the demo, we'll, I'll show you how to write the script. But basically, add, beep, add, set, language, all these methods, like I said, you don't have to be a very much into, very much a coder to create IVR system. You don't have to have a lot of uh, coding background, the engineering background to create IVR system using these simple sets of modules. Like just to add a beep. You call someone, there's a beep, ting. So you just have to call this method, add beep, in between your code or script, wherever, and it will do it. You can set language. It should be Hindi or English or whatever. Hindi is currently not supported by 
them, um, but French, Portuguese, and Spanish are. So, add set voice is again another method. You can get the input like press one for this menu, press two for that menu, three for that menu. So, it's again just a method. You just have to call this method and it will do it by itself. You don't have to make different functions or the whole workflow for it. And uh, the last is add say. So add say whatever you write between these two brackets would get uh, voiced. You call someone, it says, hello, what can I do for you? You just have to write the text. It will do all the conversion by itself. And also, the in the text, you use exclamation mark, question mark, and the full stops. It takes the gestures by itself. So you don't have to worry about the gestures also. Just write the text the way you want to, and it will do it by itself. Now, this was the slide that uh, I had for uh, the demo. But this server is still down, I think. Yeah, actually, it's not working. So maybe we can do it in hackathon or some other time. It was most it was uh, more to be a demo oriented presentation, but sadly, this server went down at the wrong time. So now, how to configure the module? This is this was supposed to be the big part whenever I've uh, had conversations about VoIP. So it is said that it's going to be very difficult how to configure the server. Server configuration is a very big thing. Now, if you are going to configure Asterix, that's completely a different topic. So that might be a bit complex. But uh, configuring a server, a third-party server to VoIP with your Drupal site is just a matter of two slides here and only a few steps otherwise. So you have to make an account on Twilio. I have taken an example of Twilio here. You just go there, make a free account. You'll get a uh, account SID and an authorized token. So this you get for free, for free. Also for developers, just for the development sake, everything is provided for free. In case you are doing some commercial work, you have to pay. And uh, then you go to your Drupal site and configure the Twilio. You just enable the module, configure it. You just have to put your account SID and authorized token, and that's all. And your view IP is up and running. There's nothing else to do. You have to add more extensions, maybe like audio blog or something like that. And it will work. So actually, uh, yeah, there is one more slide to it. And this is a very good project, started, initiated by MIT and a few people there. But now they are not being funded. That's right. So yeah, so they are not being funded anymore. And they need contribution. VoIP module still has only 77 installations all through the globe, and uh, they need contributors. And there are very easy things that we can do to, con to contribute and make this uh, VoIP uh, much better module than what it is right now. So one is um, to migrate 6x modules to 7x. 6x modules mostly are upgraded, but still there are a few that have not been there. And uh, the code is not Drupal standard. The code, if you look at the modules, it's actually quite wavered. So this is something that they are looking for. They want to make the code Drupal standard compliant. This is something that we can work on, maybe, and that's not a big task. Uh, help in issue queues, there are a lot of issues that have come up, not only about the code, but more about how to use it and not how not to use it. So this is somewhere we can help there. And uh, yeah, we can come up with new out-of-the-box solution, just like the audio blog. Audio blog, I think it's a very good utility, but still no, not many people are using it. Of course, uh, I think it's also a product idea, if anybody wants to try it. And uh, just try explore and spread. Just let people know about VoIP, that it's not a very big thing. It's a very easy thing if you want to try it. You want, would you want to make IBS system for your business or anything else? It's quite easy. 
So, this was actually the end of presentation minus the demo. So, that demo, I'm not sure it will be working otherwise, if in case you are coming to the hackathon tomorrow, so I'll uh, configure it on my local and probably the interested, I can give a demo right there by then. And we can go into coding or uh, we can maybe create a new module and contribute it tomorrow itself. So probably if you have any questions, maybe we can interact a bit, all I know. And uh, here's Nitesh, he participated in Google Summer of Code with VOIP and maybe he can share something, his experience using VOIP and uh, in Google Summer of Code. Well, that's uh, one interesting point. VOIP has different regulations in India, regulations in Indian number that you have to go through. Otherwise, what we can do is as developers or anything, uh, we can get a US number that's not very expensive. It takes just 10 paise in SMS, uh, something like that. A two rupee call, that's all. So that's easy to start with. And uh, these VOIP, um, rules and regulations in India are getting lenient with by every passing year, but still it's not uh, very user friendly. Like Twilio is SAS? Yeah, it is SAS. But Asterix is a server? Asterix is a server. Asterix is basically an open source thing. But that is also yeah. like trade. Like, uh, we have integrated Asterix. Yeah. So like if you are working on your local environment. Yeah, basically it's about the setup. They give you a setup. Twilio and everything, you just have to create one account there and everything is set up by themselves. In Asterix, you have to create uh, the server architecture and everything by yourself yeah. and then integrate uh, integrate with your Drupal site. So it's a, it's a lengthy process. If you are going into a totally VOIP specific application, then maybe it suits your needs. But otherwise, Twilio and Twilio and everything is quite easy to use. Uh, VIP Drupal. Uh, Twilio conference. Uh, it's uh, drupal.org slash project slash VIP Drupal. Yeah, without it's any underscore. Uh, conference. Well, that might be a extended extended module. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, maybe I'm not very sure about it. I haven't seen that. Any other questions? Or Anything you want to know about it, maybe I can answer, maybe I cannot. So, anybody interested in demo tomorrow? Sure. Okay. So, there is at least one, and I know he'll be there. Uh, yeah. So, at least three or four people are there. I'll configure it on my machine, and uh, we can have a hands on demo there. Yes, it's still loading. It's giving me a Drupal site offline. Maybe some DV error. When I sent an email, he tried to ping him, the guy who's taking care of this, but there's no reply as yet. Yeah, but the session is over now. If he replies, so there's no use. That's it. Thanks. Simple script provided by the VIP module itself. You get it in the core module. So, if you look here, so all your script, they are simple if and else functions just to go through your workflow. You have to initialize a script, web script, name it A, B, C, whatever you want to. And then you have to just use the methods, add say, script A, go to sub, add say, back in script A. So that's all that you have to do to create a script. It's just like a workflow, you are just writing a workflow. So this would probably work as a 
script A, then it will do something that's defined in script go sub B, and then back in script A, bye bye, and the call is cut. Add hang up means that the call is suspended. So, like for example, you have to create an IVR system. You just have to use these methods, script, your call uh, method, input, an option. You write one, and then you say add say you input one. So this way you can just create your whole work whole workflow for your IVR system, and for the SMS, uh, maybe I'll look into some other piece of code. Maybe we can do that tomorrow. Only. Okay.